All right, so um, now we got the assault rifle and the shotgun uh, set up or multiple weapons set up. You might notice that when you start uh, the game, your inventory stays empty. But your uh, weapon, if you switch to your uh, shooter, uh, I'm sorry, your weapon reloader, you see it, it should have added it to the inventory. Uh, to fix this, we're going to make an event in the container to let any uh, let other scripts know that we are uh, ready to go so let's make an uh, a public event system action let's call this on container ready and when the uh, await function is, uh, is ready is, is uh, invoked we're gonna say uh, if container uh, if on container ready uh, not equals no execute it now in our uh, reloader we're gonna simply uh, say inventory on container ready now you can make your delegate uh, any way you want I'm gonna do it like this like shorthand okay so now when we start the game it should add both weapons to the inventory yeah we got two the assault rifle and the shotgun uh, they're both the same could that be yeah both 20. all right with that done um let's work on some audio to play because the silent game is not very very fun um, so to do it let's make a, a new script in our uh, shared folder and let's call this um, sound or maybe audio controller audio controller seems uh, fair enough uh, and what we're gonna do um, let's make a new uh, child object in the player let's call this uh, Layer sound, maybe just sounds, sound effects, or yeah, it could be, could be anything. Uh, and make another child, footsteps. So basically, for each um, sound effect, we're gonna create a new um, game object. Uh, yeah, game game object, and assign the audio controller to it. Now we're gonna need an uh, what was the audio source? Yeah. So every every audio controller needs an audio source. So let's make it. Um, but we could make it required. Uh, yeah. Let's let's do that for now. Uh, require component type of uh, audio uh, source. There we go. And now let's make a private audio controller. Uh, sorry, audio source. Source and source equals. Uh, source all right so basically we're gonna make sure that every game object can play its own sounds and we use different scripts to play the sounds uh, okay so you can change all the uh, settings for each uh, audio source quite easily and also play it quite easily uh, let's um, yeah, this is our audio controller. Seems good to get a source. So we need a, a clip, audio clip, uh, clip. And let's make this serializable. Uh, serialized field, sorry. Um, and also, let's make an array of sound clips. That might be even better. Uh, because maybe for footsteps, we want to add more sounds and for uh, so we can switch them 
um, let's make a serialized field and maybe for uh, we need a minimum amount of time between two clips so uh, before it plays two clips so let's say float um, min delay no maybe just delay delay uh, maybe delay between clips okay uh, maybe a private for a campaign and when we are uh, in the update no no maybe not the update let's make a method called play which will play the sound and public I guess and then we could say a source play one shot mm, that plays the clip uh, clip play select this clip and we're gonna make sure we take a random uh, audio clip from our clips Let's make this clips and we can say not selected clip but clip uh, then we say uh, audio clip clip equals uh, random range zero and clips length so it takes a random uh, clip and plays it when the play method is called uh, but before we do so we check uh, if can play if we can cannot play uh, we just return out of the out of the method and otherwise we say um, uh, we're going to use our um, timer for this uh, game manager instance timer add and we're going to add um, a method our delegate name here uh, in delay between clips and what we're basically going to do we're just going to say uh, set it can play to uh, true again so can play equals false so basically when we cannot play we, we uh, return the method if we can play we're gonna reset the game can play uh, property boolean back to true after the delay between clips and we say can play false so it won't play twice um, and then it won't go, uh, gonna play the clip uh, let's see I think this is going to work now we need some audio I'm not really sure are there packages with some sound um, no, no. I'm gonna I'm gonna quit the the, the video and uh, we'll start with a new one after that. After I selected some sounds, all right.